Hi everyone, just to update you that I'll be away for a short period of time based on the fact that I'm busy at work but nevertheless there will be more content after when I'm back and as you know that Computex is in progress there are items sent to me and it's been published at Computex so I will share with you what are the items that I will be reviewing on right at the end of this content now besides this right, I'd like to thank ASU Singapore to have provided another unit of this which I've already done the review on which is the ROG Street B850G Gaming Wi-Fi now besides the international version they have the waifu version this is mainly sell in China, Taiwan, Hong Kong and etc all the uh, Asia country so if you guys get this board right this is fantastic first of all What's so different? The packaging is totally different, as you can see. Now, this is known as the uh, Tuishe ROG Street B850G Gaming Wi-Fi S. The uh, direct translation of Tuishe, it means blowing snow. But I believe the correct translation should be snowstorm. Okay, and this is actually the S version, which is snow. And what's so different about it? As mentioned to you, the packaging, see, it's pretty slick and it's sealed which I really broke it I took out the uh, motherboard and all these are in Chinese some of them are in Chinese character which I myself a Chinese I couldn't read <laughs> anyway when you unbox it right I really taken out the uh, motherboard you will see this very nice waifu picture of snowstorm aside from the box differences of these two unit the rest like the specification the performance the feature set and the functionality is of the same. They both have one PCIe lane, four M.2 slot, and the RAM training timing is 28 seconds. It's very fast. If you guys want to know more about this board, you can click on my top right-hand corner. It will take you to my overview on this board. And do take note, that overview is rather lengthy as it includes the uh, UEFI functions and such. Now, back to where I was. As mentioned to you, the box are different, but the specs are the, the same now some slight different on the packaging itself starting off with the antenna this is the international antenna okay very simple white else for the waifu it has the uh, character imprint on the antenna itself inclusive of her name which is Choi Xie which is snowstorm now both are packed nicely with Zilog back all the accessories are of the same but on the waifu version right it does not have this keychain okay let me show you all right this is the keychain that international will have it but not on the waifu set then for the uh, stickers and pamphlets and such right on the international it's just all this simple stuff the uh, web storage on asu and a quick starter guide else for the waifu version right the stickers are slightly different you have more see very colorful very vibrant and you have a card and this is part of the quick starter guide what you can see it does show you okay it will tell you the story of what this character is all about and such in chinese character if you know how to read then the quick starter guide and it also works as a notebook see and when I flip to the back pretty nice now coming to the board itself let me just clear all this stuff the difference between these two boards taking a look at the design this is the international version see this is how it looks like and as you can see right the uh, highlights on the grey or silver right, is more popping up okay else for the waifu version the main attraction is this waifu and i mean character the rest right are very subtle as you can see the design see if you compare both right so this is actually how it looks like and both as mentioned have the same function as in like 4M.2 one PCIe slot and this is how it looks like at the rear 
okay we have the international having the uh, rog strict logo over here else over on the waifu right is in fact the character of snowstorm another thing i noticed is the argv effect as you can see on my right is the snowstorm edition and on my left is the international edition look at the uh, cutting this is quite pixelized else this is very refined i've shown you the construction of both motherboards be the original or this snowstorm edition now this is how the uefi interface look like with the waifu snowstorm character at the background this is something very important now if you are having the waifu edition of this motherboard kindly note do not make use of the international bios or the drivers this is the international page where it says rog street da50g gaming wi-fi if you're going to use this bios and drivers on the waifu board right you're going to prick your board so take note on this instead go to this page i know this is in chinese you can translate it okay which says rog street b850g gaming wi-fi with the s this is specifically for the wi-fi board so do not prick your board make sure you make use of the bios from here or the drivers i'll leave this wi-fi bios page in my description just in case you need it and i'm just going to do something as some of you have experienced right when you are doing the tweaks on your motherboard after you've done the tweak right on pbo2 it will take some time for the motherboard to read so that's what i'm going to do and just to show you how fast it is for this motherboard to pick up take for example i'm just going to change the uh, curve optimizer to 20 and 15 and i'll change the curve shaper to probably 18 okay now all these figures kindly do not copy and paste to your configuration right this is what i've actually calculated out properly so that it can pull lesser voltage and such for this motherboard only and with this processor so as you can see i've done all the changes right when i save right in most motherboard it will take some time to verify and to you know recognize your configuration before you boot up but for this right when i press on ok take a look how fast it is i've done all the changes over here as you can see okay so i'm just going to click on ok so normally at this period of time right you'll take for your 30 seconds or 45 seconds or so but for this right see you just pick it up and you just boot it's fantastically fast and not only this right when you boot into windows and i shut it down later and to show you at cold start it is also very fast see right now it's actually booted to windows see it's really very responsive this motherboard this is something which i really enjoy a lot now i'm just going to shut down my machine right now okay you will see some error message once it's shut down and i'll just leave it for about five seconds or so okay i'll just shut okay this is right now shut down i'll keep on talking probably about 10 to you know 15 seconds right now so this spot is totally off right now i'm just going to turn it on by the count of three take a look how fast it is for this bot to boot up three two one see i don't really have to wait that much most of the time i'll be waiting like you know more than 20 seconds or so before it boot up but this right you just pick it up and you just load fantastically fast and in no time see it's in windows that's one thing what i like about this bot see very responsive fantastic as why am i showing you this special edition motherboard is based on the fact that some of you from asia has sent me messages and sent me email asking me hey cool there is another edition does it work the same does it perform the same well my answer to you yes both act the same so if you want to know more about this motherboard there is a content which i've told you either you rewind and click on my top right hand corner or you can click on my description for the actual content and also some of you have actually asked me that hey kill how come it's only one pcie slot well the reason is having only one pcie slot right it frees up the uh, lane sharing and not only this providing more m.2 and speaking about the m.2 right you have 
ask me this very valid question whereby I myself did think you know something must be done on the real M.2 if you were to populate a Gen 4 M.2 what can you do is that take a watch or try to say look out for cases that have big cut out where you can buy additional hit sync just like this okay it's just a insulation or should I say heat absorption tape so you can tape to your M.2 and this will dissipate heat or another case is that get thick thermal pads okay if let's say the cutout of the motherboard is I mean the case right is this way the I mean the bag right it's metal you can just put thermal pad and to place it so that the heat absorption is on the whole case now hope you guys have actually enjoyed what i've shared with you this is an excellent board very refined as i show you another design which you can get in asia and for those of you who can't get this right i'm so sorry to say this is actually catered for asia but it's just been nice to show you that there is another addition to this and right now i'm just going to take you and to share with you what i'm going to do for the future content as in like those items that sent to me before Computex and I will fulfill all the uh, content before the embargo date. As mentioned to you, I'll be away for a while to do my own work. So work comes first before content, right? But nevertheless, I will come back and do the rest of the content. And what is being showcased in Computex? Starting off with Lianni. First of all, thank you very much to have provided all the unit for me to share with everyone. And to block soda, especially to block soda, you've done all the arrangement, all the hard work, as in like packing and to deliver it to me on time. Now, I will promise to do all the uh, content that's related on Computex itself, right? To meet their embargo date. Starting off with the item, the Unifan SL Infinity. These are wireless, which you have one pack, which is reverse. The other pack is single. I'll talk more about it on the actual content and there is a hidden gadget in this reverse blade package which I will not tell you right now so do watch out for the content next will be the HydroShift 2 LCDC now there are variant type of this liquid AIO which I will talk about it on the content itself so again take note on this and do note all this item that you see here right which is being displayed in Computex the embargo date is within this month so you will see all the content within this month now aside from the uh, embargo unit there are a few more items which is I would apologize that it's my fault due to my hectic work things like case review which has been released the Lenku 207 Digital and the Lenku 217 I will come back to that. As for the Lenku 207 Digital, right? I will not do a full scale open view about this case as I redone the original. All the functions and the you know the placement of fans and such right are of the same. For this case, right, I will only highlight especially on the LCD, more in depth to it. So if you guys want to know more about it, right, you can watch that content, which is near future. Now next will be the Lenku 217. I know that you have watched tons of review about this case the nice finish on the wood and such now i will experience this and to share you with my experience now next will be on asutec thanks to asutec to have provided this unit for me this has been showcased in computex again known as the rog ryo 4 slc 360 argb okay probably i'll bring it closer see this is the unit where you have the LCD and the liquid cooler. Now this does not have an embargo date at all because it's been released in US itself. So I will just try my best to fill up and to show you the content on this. Now followed by all this content that I'm going to talk about right now are all the uh, backlogs that I supposed to do. But again, due to you know one man show and it's like having a busy work life. Now, someone have actually asked me this question, hey Kyo, would you mind to actually do a full-time YouTuber? My answer to you, no. Cause to me, right, this is a passion that I like to do. I don't like it to be like 
work bound. So once you're work bound, right, you will tend to do, you know, commercialized things and such. So I like to keep it clean. As most of you have witnessed, right, my content is mainly on my experience. Whatever I like about it, I'll talk about it. Whatever I don't like about it, I also talk about it. So this is the thing that keep me going on YouTube. All right, next will be Deep Cool. I got to apologize to Deep Cool. This unit have been out for a couple of months. I don't find time to actually do it, but I will come up with the content as promised. This is the LQ360, which has the digital display, followed by if you guys have watched my content, right? I did the uh, Valkyrie light. This is another unit known as the Valkyrie A360. Thanks to Valkyrie to provide this unit. All right, did it show any picture? Okay, not so. All right, probably you guys can actually Google this. This is actually not new, but I will share with you my experience regarding about this A360 from Valkyrie. In fact, just to take, most of the Valkyrie liquid AI array, right, they do perform very well and they do take pride in what they are doing as a night. All the uh, items and all the design they have done, right, are very detailed. Okay, we shall see you on this uh, content, right? Followed by this, which is known as the Sama Q60. You guys have watched, some of you have watched my content regarding about the Sama Q70. That is actually an amazing cooler and it does perform very well. So with this say right, Sama has provided me with another unit. Thank you, Sama, which is the Q60. And again, I will share with you my experience. I will try my best to finish up all the content. In fact, to be honest with you, right, even my own build, I have no time to actually build it. You know, ever since uh, I was talking about my initial D case and the uh, Model 5 from Geometrics Future, right, those are my main read. So I couldn't find time to do it, but I will do it in no time. With this said, as mentioned, thanks to all the sponsors to have supported my channel and to provide all this unit for me to share with everyone. And for those of you actually new to my channel, welcome to my channel. If you are liking all my content, right? Or should I say, if you like my content, sorry. Do remember to subscribe and to click on the notification bell button. And don't forget to click on the like button for this content. Thank you very much. Till the next time. See you. Take care. Goodbye.